What's up everyone, Ethan Ader here with Blade RC, and in this video I have the Blade Fusion 180 right here, and I'm going to be showing you how to replace the tail boom as well as the tail push rod and the guides. So the tools that you need are a 1.5mm hex driver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and some ball link pliers. Let's go ahead and get into this video. The first step is going to be to take out the main head as well as the main gear, so then we can slide the belt over the pulley and get access to remove the tail boom. First, grab your 1.5 millimeter hex driver and you're gonna want to unscrew this screw right down here. Up next, we can go ahead and pop off all these ball links with the ball link pliers. If you don't have access to ball link pliers, it's also possible to pop out the ball links with your hand. With all of the ball links popped off of the swash plate, you can go ahead and slide out the main shaft with the main head assembly. Next, you can remove the main gear and slip the tail belt off of the pulley. One thing I recommend is threading that small screw that you use to remove the main shaft from the main gear back into the main gear so then you do not lose it. Next you can take your Phillips head screwdriver and remove the servo arm off the tail servo. We can also loosen up these two screws on the tail servo mount in order to slide the tail servo and the mount assembly off of the tail boom. As you can see the tail servo moves freely on the tail boom. The last step in removing the tail boom from the airframe is to loosen this screw right here. This essentially clamps down the tail boom so it is locked in place onto the mainframe. Next we can remove the tail push rod and the guide from the tail boom. This is done by removing the ball link right here off of the tail control arm and essentially just sliding the guides along with the rod off of the tail boom. If you plan on replacing the tail push rod, then ensure that you remove the tail servo arm from the push rod. Next up is removing the tail fin by unscrewing the two screws right here with a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. And lastly, we can loosen up these two screws in order to remove this whole assembly from the tail boom. Now that you have your new tail boom, we can go ahead and reinstall this assembly. One easy way in getting the tail belt all the way through the tail boom is taking your tail control rod, tying it to the tail belt like so with a thin piece of string or thread, so then you can just grab the tail control rod and pull the belt through on the other side. With the tail belt all the way through the tail boom, we can go ahead and take the assembly, line up the holes like so, and push the assembly onto the tail boom. Ensure that the holes on the tail boom and the tail assembly are lined up. With the holes lined up, you can go ahead and clamp down the assembly by tightening these two screws right here. Next, we can reinstall the tail fin. Now we can reinstall our tail control rod along with the guides onto the new tail boom. Once you've ensured that there are no twists in the belt, we can go ahead and reinstall it back onto the airframe. The first step is going to be to rotate the belt like so so that whenever the main gear spins, the tail spins outwards. So just make sure that you rotated it 90 degrees the correct way. Up next, we can slide the tail boom through the mounts on the tail servo like so. And lastly, we can reinstall the tail boom onto the airframe. Next, we can reinstall the main gear. Once again, ensure that the only twist in the tail belt is that initial 90 degree twist in the correct direction so then the tail rotor spins the correct way. Up 
Up next, we can reinstall the head assembly and the main shaft. With the belt around the main gear and the main head assembly attached, now we can reset our tail belt tension. So essentially this is going to be done through ensuring that the tail is parallel to the helicopter frame like so. And what you're going to do is pull back and while you're doing that you can go ahead and tighten the screw down in order to tighten your tail belt. With the tail belt tension set, the last thing to do is to clamp down the tail servo, reinstall the tail servo arm, and check our endpoints and ensure that they are the correct direction. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So the first step in re-securing the tail servo is going to be to reinstall the servo arm onto the tail control rod. The next step is to plug in your helicopter and don't move the sticks or the helicopter. The tail servo is currently at the center position, so now we can take this time to reinstall the servo arm onto the tail servo in the correct location. With the tail servo arm installed and the tail servo still loose on the boom, you can determine where exactly to mount the tail servo by using the rudder stick to check the travel on both sides of the tail rotor. Now, once you've determined that the sides are even in terms of travel, you can go ahead and clamp the tail servo where you see fit. Also keep in mind that you might have to slant the tail servo a little bit in order for the tail control rod to be perfectly straight. Alright, and lastly, all we have to do is secure these two guides. You can use a little thin CA to keep the guides to stay in place. And just like that, the Fusion 180 Smart has a new tail boom, a new tail pushrod, and new tail pushrod guides. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more repair videos like this.